Today's Alice lesson discussed recursion. I'm going to demonstrate how to use recursion to repeat actions in an Alice program. Recursion is a programming technique where a method calls itself repeatedly until a condition is met. It's useful when you don't know how many times to repeat an instruction or a set of instructions. I'm going to create my own version of the story of the Midas touch. In the original story, a greedy king was given the gift of having everything he touched turn to gold. In the initial scene of this Alice world, I have a girl facing a candy cane. I will write a recursive method named Check Candy that will check whether the girl's right hand is close to the candy cane. If it is, she'll touch the candy cane and it will turn to gold. If the girl isn't close enough to the candy cane, she'll move a small distance forward and the Check Candy method will be called recursively. Let's get started. I've closed the display window to give myself more room to work. I'll create a new method called Check Candy. First I want to check if the girl's hand is within one meter of the candy cane. I'll drag in an if-else tile. Now I'll select the girl's hand from the object tree. And select functions. I'll drag the hand is within function over the true condition of the if statement. And select one meter of the candy cane. Since I've placed the girl several meters away from the candy cane, I know this condition will initially be false. So I'm going to add the instruction to the else part of the if-else block first. I want the girl to move forward a small distance. I'll click the girl in the object tree and select the methods tab. Now I'll drag the girl move method into the else block. I'll select forward and set the distance to one-tenth of a meter. I'll set the style to abruptly and the duration to a half second. Once the girl has moved forward, I will want to check if she's within a meter of the candy cane. Here's where I use recursion. I'll call the check candy method here. I'll click on World in the object tree and drag the Check Candy method into the Else block. Notice the warning that appears. I need to make very sure that the condition of my if statement will become true. Otherwise, my recursive call to Check Candy will not stop until I stop the animation or my computer locks up. So, I made sure my girl is facing the candy cane and that she will eventually move to within one meter of it. At this point, my if statement condition will be true and I'll execute the code in the if block. So I'm going to click yes, I understand what I am doing. In order to test what I have so far, I need to call the check candy method from the event when the world starts. I'll drag it in. Let's test what I have so far by playing the animation. Once the girl is within a meter of the candy cane, the condition of the if statement will be true, and she stops moving forward. I want the girl to touch the candy cane once she stops. I'll drag a do in order tile into the if statement, and I'll put a do together tile inside that. Now I'll make the girl's body move forward a tenth of a meter.
At the same time, she'll turn forward 0.15 revolutions. And I want her to turn her right arm a quarter of a revolution. This will make her bend over to touch the candy cane. The next thing I'll do is set the candy cane's color to gold right after the Do Together block. I'll click Candy Cane in the Object Tree, click Properties, and drag the color tile to the Do in Order block. I will set the color to yellow. Our code is complete. Let's test it and see the magic. Visit our website, www.highschoolelearning.com, for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.